Contrary to the rumors that you've heard, I was not born in a manger. I was actually born on Krypton and sent here to save the planet Earth. We cannot continue to rely only on our military in order to achieve the national security objectives that we've set. Everybody somewhere between the ages of 18 and 25 will serve three months of basic training. We've got to have a civilian national security force that's just as powerful, just as strong. Yes, we can. Obama's tax care plan will include coverage of all essential medical services. Yes, we can. Obama is a cruel hoax. He works for Wall Street. He's an agent of finance capital. Where did you come up with the number $700 billion? Here's the uh, Treasury spokeswoman's quote. It's not based on any particular data point. We just really wanted to come up with a really big number. To Democrats and Republicans who've opposed this plan, I say, step up to the plate. A few members were even told that there would be martial law in America if we voted no. Secretary Henry Paulson is no George Washington. I don't think anyone questions, Mr. Kashkari, that you're working hard. Our question is who you're working for. Obama pledged that he would resume the security and prosperity partnership talks between Mexico and Canada that President Bush initiated. The old boss is starting to look a lot like the new boss. Robert Gates is going to remain on the job as defense secretary for at least a year. Plenty of sources knew about this meeting, uh, told us and others that it was at Hillary Clinton's house, but clearly uh, it wasn't. We've got to give them a stake in creating the kind of uh, uh, world order that I think all of us would like to see. We see you causing a depression so you can blow out the economy and consolidate it and bankrupt it. We know that you are enemies of free humanity and we are here standing against your tyranny. The Obama deception, the truth strikes back. Barack is like the manager of Burger King. All presidents are including Bush. It's like this. When your fries are cold, if your burger is not done right, you go back to Burger King, America, or your government, and you say, my burger's cold. I want new fries. First, you go to the cashier. That's the courts. You argue to the courts. The courts, if you can't get no justice with the cashier, you say, let me see the manager. I want to go to the Supreme Court. I want to see the president. The manager comes out. Hi, what can I do for you? Now, the manager can override the decisions of the cashier. But you never get to see the franchise owner of Burger King. If you really have a problem with your burger, you need to go see the franchise owner. We need to go to the top or to the bottom. <laughs> we need to go to where the real architecture of government is. And it's not in a president. It's in a global scheme. Politics in America today is identical to pro wrestling. And what I mean by that is, in front of the cameras and the public, we all hate each other. I'm going to kick my opponent's butt. I'm going to wail him from here to high water and beat the crap out of him. Yet behind the scenes, we all have friends going out to dinner. Went to dinner together. And, and, and it's all a work. All intermarried. Show business. It's show biz. And that's what you have today in politics. The Democrats and Republicans aren't really opposed to each other. Left and right mean nothing. The only thing that counts is, are you working for Wall Street or are you trying to defend the people against the financiers? It's pretty obvious that there's some gigantic financial institutions that have been pulling the strings of politicians in this country for a long time. And the, the, just the fact that we have it set up where they can donate millions of dollars to these guys' funds, these guys' campaigns. I mean, how do we not expect it, it all to go bad? America, in 2009, was desperate for change. 
The past eight years have been a disaster. Those weapons of mass destruction got to be somewhere. <laughs> Maybe under here. <laughs> George W. Bush, who had claimed to be a conservative, had tripled the size of the federal government, shredded the Constitution, and destroyed the image of the United States worldwide. Nope, no weapons over there. <laughs> Endless wars, over a million dead Iraqis, and more than 5,000 dead U.S. troops. The Patriot Act, warrantless domestic wiretapping and spying, the end of posse comitatus, the rise of the treasonous North American Union. A deepening recession, sliding towards...